Okay, data modeling and data forecasting. Let's talk about that here. Uh, you're looking right now at a spreadsheet we developed for a water consultant. I myself helped him present this to four local water authorities and this gives them the information they need to decide where to buy their water over the next 30 years. So here's the flow of information for the workbook here. Our historic data are the black tabs. They feed into the red sheets, the component forecasts, which then combine into the single green sheet that is the aggregated cost. Now the blue sheet is the assumption manager and this is where the user steps in. So here's the assumption manager and this is kind of the brain behind the whole spreadsheet here. This is designed so the consultant can change any rate increase for any one of the component charges so he can compare different scenarios. So let's change some of the rates now. Let's change the last 20 years of all the county water authority charges. I'm going to type an 8 and press control enter to change all the values I have selected and watch the total cost thumbnail chart here the end of it will flare up. So let's also change some desal rates. Um, let's just change the financing starting cost to 800. This red line is the cost per acre foot for the desal rates. As I press enter the whole line should go up. Very easy. So now we can go back to the aggregated costs, see how our assumptions have changed the numbers, check out the larger graphs, review the gross cost, net present value. So I mentioned the consultant wants to compare different scenarios. This brings us to the next pretty cool feature of this workbook. So I'm going to click capture data. This will instance all of this data. That means it will not be tied to the formulas and the rates that we have. It'll create a new sheet with hard data. So now we have a results one page. If you'll look, I have this cell selected and this is a number, not a formula. On the aggregated costs, this is a formula, meaning that it's reading from the assumption manager and the component costs. So let's go back to the assumption manager. I'm going to click default values just to reset all these numbers. These 8's will change back to the 4's. This will change back to 150. There we go. So now let's say, let's call this scenario 2. Let's go back to the aggregated costs and I'm going to click capture data. We'll make another results page. Very easy. So now we have two scenarios we can easily compare. Now this is kind of the last functionality of the workbook here. As I click compare results, a pop-up window appears. So I can compare results 2 to results 1. This performs a simple differential comparison. So I'll click OK and we'll get one more comparison sheet down here. There we go. Now it's real easy to compare each scenario. So if you'll remember on the County Water Authority charges, I changed the rate increase from 2026 on. Nothing before, that's why these are the zero values. Similarly, in the desal costs, I changed one component of the fixed cost. That's why these are the non-zero values. You have the overlaid charts down here. Makes it real easy to compare the scenarios. Now, last two real minor things. We can add manual adjustments for whatever reason. And also, if you want to drill down into one particular component, you just click on the name, and it takes you to the sheet right here. You can show and hide the values, no problem. Click on the first cell to go back to the aggregated costs. So that wraps up the video. I hope you guys have learned some features and functionalities you can add to spreadsheets to make them easy to use and easy to present. Thanks a lot, everyone. Talk to you soon.